Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use mfastboot exec to um, unbrick a Motorola device. Um, first you're gonna, this is uh, for Motorola, Motorola devices only. Um, it can be used as Windows, Linux, Mac, um, but I'm just going to be going over how to use it on Windows 10 uh, today. Um, and it's not uh, recommended for upgrading or downgrading the firm firmware. Um, it's, it's best if you uh, are flashing the uh, the firmware that was uh, originally on the device um, before it was bricked. Okay, so or or whatever the um, the problem with, currently with it. Um, first, you want to make sure Motorola drivers are installed. Um, if you uh, you can. Uh, Download them here. Um, there's two different versions: 32-bit um, and 64-bit. Um, I believe currently, right now, the um, the current version build is uh, 6.4.0. Um, you can download that from um, one of these links here, um, maybe some others um, on XDA that you can use. Um, and then you want to um, download the uh, mfastboot files. Uh, I've got a few links here. Um, if you download from a dev host, you just want to be careful um, uh, not to click on one of these ads. Um, these are ads, uh, and they're not uh, not safe to click on. Um, you want to click on uh, where it says download now, and then on your browser it should show that um, it's downloading um, the correct file, um, and it should have, uh, you see right there, um, it has uh, the file, this file, devhost d-h.st, uh, you want to make sure it has that um, in the download, um, and the uh, nice thing about devhost is it, um, it hosts the M MD5 checksum. Um, so you know that uh, you can you can verify that the file was downloaded correctly. All right, let's see back. Um, and then next, the third thing you're going to need is the firmware for your device, and that's uh, um, a good place to uh, find that is on uh, Moto Firmware that center. Um, uh, today I'm going to be showing you with the uh, Verizon XT907, which is the M or um, uh, or the Luge, uh, which is uh, the firmware I'm actually going to be using. Um, and uh, you can see that the MD5 checksum was uh, posted with this file. Um, it's not always posted. Um, if you don't, uh, you want to at least verify that the file size um, matches what you um, downloaded. Um, and I'll, uh, I posted a link to uh, to um, using hash checksums um, with a couple different uh, options for uh, um, checking those. Um, I like MD5 Checker. Um, it's a very simple um, device. If you go back to our mfastboot uh, zip, um, if you just copy the MD5 checksum um, and you've downloaded this MD5 exact, you can just uh, run it and uh, if you have it uh, the checksum in your uh, clipboard, it'll automatically paste it there. Um, then you just browse for the file you're looking for. Um, I'm looking for this M fast boot zip. Uh, it won't take very long. This is a very big file, so just click open, and it says codes match. That means um, that the um, it went through the file, and uh, basically it's like a fingerprint for the file. Um, if there was anything missing um, or extra in the file, this would be a totally different number. So, and close that. Um, you want to do that whenever possible um, with uh, firmware. Okay, so I've downloaded mfastboot zip and um, our firmware and our drivers. Um, probably the first thing you want to do is um, install your drivers. Um, you unzip it. Um, 
it comes in either a 64-bit or a 32-bit. If you don't, not sure what your uh, PC is, just go ahead and download the 32-bit, um, and then you just run the uh, double click on this file, and it'll say prepare it to install. And you can see it, it already show uh, it. It sees that I already have Motorola drivers installed. So um, if for some reason your drivers aren't working correctly, you can go ahead and click repair. Um, otherwise, um, uh, it'll just be ready to install um, if, it, if you haven't done that before. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because um, I already have them installed. Um, okay, and then we go back. Let's see here. Um, okay, so. Um, down to those, you want to verify your files, um, install modal drivers, and then once your your drivers have installed, you want to go ahead and re reboot your PC. Um, PCs are oftentimes drivers don't install correctly in, until a, a reboot. Um, okay, and then we want to um, set up our M fast boot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and extract the M fast. Um, M fastboot zip to the local drive, and uh, I usually just use uh, C drive and then create a folder called ADB, um, and I just put all my files in there. And then when you unzip it, we'll go ahead and I'll delete this quick. Um, um, if you just uh, right click on it and then select extract all. Um, it will uh, the folder the files will be extracted to um, another folder called the mfastboot version two. Um, go ahead and extract. Doesn't take very long. Okay, and these are our our files. Um, this would be for uh, um, Mac, and uh, this is Windows, and Linux fastboot would be for Linux, obviously. And then you get your ADB. It um, helps um, in fast boot work correctly. Okay, so um, now if you're not seeing these exact that exact and that dill DLL um, extensions, uh, you want to go ahead and go to uh, View and Options and Change Folder Search Options um, and go to View and you want to um, uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. If you don't do that, uh, it's going to get kind of confusing um, dealing with um, Android and uh, zip files and uh, and all that. Um, so go ahead and um, uncheck that and then go ahead and click Apply and OK. Um, then those extensions should show up if they hadn't already. OK. Um, then we want to go back to our ADB. And then you want to do the same. You want to extract the files for your firmware um, for your device now, again, this is I'm use, I have an XT907, so that's this is the firmware for uh, that device. Um, but uh, these instructions will work for a variety of different uh, Motorola devices that have an AP fastboot mode. Okay, so you just um, extract all, and then the, it's going to extract them into this uh, this folder here, and then let's see here. Want to uh, go down and, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to copy these four files. That shouldn't be a. That should just be system image. All right, copying. So we're looking for the non dash h l o s uh, file. And you can just um, hold the control button down and you can select all these. Um, then we're looking for a system and looking for the boot image and we're looking for the recovery image. And then you can just uh, copy and then we can go back to uh, our uh, mfastboot folder and then just paste those. And uh, this will take a second to uh, finish. moment. Okay, that's done. Now, um, you should um, go ahead and let's boot the um, 
device into AP fastboot mode. Um, well, there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, easiest is usually power the device off, um, hold the volume down, and then press the power button for two, three seconds, and then release the power button, and then release the uh, volume down button. All right, we're going to try that. So hold the volume down button, and then press the power button for two, three, and release. Yeah, there we go. And then release that. Um, now we got uh, AP fast boot mode. You probably can't read this. My camera is really fuzzy. Um, it's really hard to pick up this uh, this uh, text on here on this black screen. Okay, AP fast boot mode. It's going to have your bootloader version and um, and the and the date of the bootloader. Um, EMM uh, C uh, size. Um, and then it has device locked. So that's the tells you whether the bootloader is locked or unlocked. My device is still locked. Um, and then you have battery OK. Um, if it's battery low, you need to charge your device or um, get a fast boot cable. Um, and it says connect to USB data cable. Uh, cable. Um, and then it says fast boot reason. Um, a key was pressed, and that's why it booted fast boot. Um, if it says um, sticky bit or something like that, um, you probably don't need to flash your firmware yet. Go, uh, there's a link um, in the my thread there, XDA thread, on how to um, fix the, uh, the, st the sticky bit um, fast boot reason. So, um, okay, we're going to go ahead and connect the USB cable. Um, and uh, you should um, hear it connect on your PC. Um, and it should say transfer mode USB connected now. Um, that should have changed. Okay, so now we're going to go to um, we're going to go ahead and open up our uh, um, settings and my PC is slow. Too many things running. Um, it should just take a second. Okay, here we go. Click on devices and then scroll down to device manager. All right, now what we're looking for when it's in AP fast boot mode is that it should say ADB device and we double click on that it should say MOT single ADB B interface um, if it says that um, driver should be good um, so another thing that you can do is we're gonna go to our folder here where we have our files and um, I still haven't done the uh, must have skipped the, uh, the command okay so we need to um, Sorry about that. Go ahead and in your um, search bar here, um, go ahead and type uh, CMD, and it should um, say CMD run command. If you go ahead and um, open file locations, right click file, um, file locations, um, scroll down, we're looking, it should be highlighted CMD.exe. Um, go ahead and copy that. Do not uh, cut that, you need that. Just go ahead and copy it, and then um, we can go ahead and close this box and uh, go ahead and paste it in the same folder with the uh, the other mfast boot exec files. Paste. All right. So now that you did that, um, every time you open this, you uh, run this command, it'll have uh, C A D B fast boot. Um, folder already selected. Um, so we have the device in AP fast boot mode. Um, you can do another test. You can do um, M fast boot space um, devices. And it should give you a uh, serial number and uh, fast boot. Um, that's a good sign that um, it's working, um, working correctly. Okay, so now what we want to do is, um, depending on what how your device was bricked, um, 
you can um, go through all these commands um, or if you want you can just try flashing the system image um, so you can, I'm, that's what I'm going to do um, just copy that command or you can type it just um, what we have here is um, we have the program that we're running um, um, and uh, the type of command that's going to be um, and uh, where we're flashing we're going to flash over the system and then uh, the file name is system image so we just copy that and you go back to our command uh, prompt and uh, you can just do a control uh, V to paste that and then you want to press enter and uh, it says it's variable not supported um, and uh, but that's uh, computer's being slow it'll uh, should start flashing here pretty soon last time I took a few minutes I got too many things running right now um, and it says multi flash is enabled and what multi flash is uh, I believe is that it with the system image is very large and so it's going to split that um, into a whole bunch of separate um, segments um, and it's going to take um, Five, 10 minutes I believe to do this so while I was doing that you can see where it says sending system okay writing system okay and it's just going to keep doing that um, until the um, entire uh, system image is, has been flashed so I'm just going to pause the video for a few minutes um, I'll come back when the, it's complete all right um, the flashing of the system image is uh, finished um, I was going to go back to uh, drivers real quick um, if um, the first time you connect um, the uh, Motorola device um, after you've just installed drivers, um, it may take uh, Windows a few minutes to um, find the drivers and, and cor correctly recognize them. Um, so just be patient. Um, you know, it could take several minutes for uh, that to work correctly. So um, a device manager may not uh, show. Uh, your Motorola device correctly um, until that time. Okay, now that um, the system image has flashed correctly, we're going to go ahead and uh, type the fast boot reboot, um, and then we'll be done. If now, if um, if you're just flashing, what I'm doing here is just doing the the short version, of, um, flashing system only. If um, after re um, running this uh, reboot command and the device does not um, boot after say 10-15 minutes it's probably not going to boot correctly um, I would I suggest going back and uh, just doing starting at the and do the, the long version um, and then if that doesn't work um, you probably need to go to um, RSD Lite or House of Moto and try that um, but uh, this is uh, this can be a quicker way to do it, um, and it also um, sometimes this works when RSD Lite or House of Moto doesn't work. Um, depend and uh, depending on what error error you get, um, if you get an error um, on your in your uh, command prompt or um, and or on your on your device's screen, um, it's a good idea to um, uh, write that. Error those errors down and then uh, post them in your uh, in your device forum. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna do this reboot, and you just press enter, and uh, the device will reboot. Um, and, it, and it can take, uh, depending on um, what files you actually flashed, it can take um, a little over 10 minutes to to uh, boot the first time. Uh, but um, probably most devices probably won't take that long all right let's see um, um, that should just about be it and it looks like um, looks like it's, it's booting um, all right um, all right well thank you for watching the video